the Scrubmaster B115R is a class-leading product delivering unrivaled performance and reliability. However, like any piece of precision machinery, it requires regular maintenance. This video shows you how to carry out tasks designed to reduce the risk of breakdown and maintain the highest level of performance. To operate the machine, you should first take it off charge, fill the solution tank and fit the pads or brushes. The machine will usually have been left on charge overnight. Disconnect the charge lead and stow it correctly on the machine. Then lower the seat. To drive the machine, switch it on with the key, push the drive lever forward and press the foot pedal. Use a hose to fill the solution tank with clean water and detergent. If the pads or brushes have been removed for storage or cleaning, you should refit them. Pull up on the latch and lift the side skirt. Place the pad or brush under the side and use both hands to click it into place. Then lower the side skirt. Repeat the process on the other side. If your B115R has cylindrical brushes instead of pads, slide the brush into the broom chamber. Support it at the far end and click into place. Refit the cover plate whilst pushing back on the latching clip with your thumb, then lift the side skirt into place. Repeat the process on the other side. On a daily basis you should drain and rinse the recovery tank and clean the suction filter, the squeegee blade and the pads or brushes before putting the machine onto charge overnight. To drain the recovery tank, pull out and undo the cap on the drain pipe. Carefully lower it to a drain, ensuring that the waste is correctly disposed of. Replace the cap and refit the pipe. Use a hose to clean the waste tank thoroughly. Also use a cloth to clean the suction filter, the tank lid and the rubber gasket. Check the pipe caps are clean and wipe down the machine with a soft cloth. You will also need to wipe clean the squeegee blade and carrier frame. You can do this whilst it is in the raised position. To remove the pads for cleaning, raise the side skirt and latch it into place. Press down on the foot lever and pull the pads from the side. If your B115R has a cylindrical brush, remove this by raising and swinging out the side skirt. Push back on the clip to release the cover plate and pull out the brush from the side. Repeat this process for the other brush. To put the machine on charge, raise the seat and leave it open on the support strap. Simply take the charging lead from the stow position and plug it into a wall socket. On a weekly basis you should check the battery levels, drain the solution tank, clean the solution filter Remove and clean the squeegee whilst checking for any damage. If your B115R has maintenance free batteries, do not remove the battery caps. If wet batteries are installed, you will need to check the water level through the windows above each cell. If necessary, top them up appropriately using a suitable supply. Be careful not to overfill them. Please ensure that you wear the correct PPE. Refer to the separate maintenance section supplied with your machine. To drain the solution tank, unscrew the cap from the draining outlet. Make sure that the waste is correctly disposed of. Clean the solution filter in the cap with a soft cloth or by rinsing under a running tap. 
Check the seal for any damage. To clean the squeegee properly it has to be removed. Pull off the suction hose and unscrew the clamping nuts. Then pull the unit directly outwards placing it upside down on the floor. Now clean all around the squeegee and carry it and check for any tears or other damage. To refit it, place it back on the carrier frame and tighten the clamp screws before pushing back the suction hose. If your Scrubmaster B115R appears not to be operating correctly, there are a number of things that you can check. If it has no power, check the batteries are charged and the machine is correctly switched on. The display indicates the charge state. If the suction is poor, check that the drain hose cap is closed and sealed. Check that the suction hose is not blocked and that the recovery tank is not full, as indicated on the control panel. If your machine is leaving streaks, it may be because the floor is excessively dirty or the squeegee is damaged or not fitted correctly. If you have excessive foam in the recovery tank, you may be using too much cleaning solution. Drain the solution tank and refill with a weaker mix. By following these simple steps, you can ensure that your Scrubmaster B115R delivers years of sterling service. In the rare event of a serious breakdown, please contact the HACO customer support team.